Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer. It's really good to be back with you this evening. I've missed spending time with you. But I've been stewarding the Christmas Tree Festival in St Stephen's and collecting toys for the Christmas Toy Appeal. And it's been really lovely to meet up with some of you as you've come out to be with me. Today we are remembering Francis Xavier, who was a missionary and ambassador of the Indies and who died in 1552. He was known for conducting his life's work with great zeal and vitality. Even descriptions of how he moved capture his gusto and say he walked with a joyful, calm face and everywhere he went, he, was, he went with laughter in his mouth. He also started the first mission in, Jap in J Japan. So now let us rest in God's presence as we come to our evening prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. That we may behold your coming among us, strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. And so we come to our psalm this evening, which is Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you I have taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup, and your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life in your presence is, full, is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from Revelations, beginning in chapter 21 at verse 22, and going on into chapter 22 to verse 5. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honour of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it 
nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. As there will be no more night, they, they need no lamp, light of lamp or sun, for the Lord will be their light, and they will reign there for ever and ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. And so we come to the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing in our hearts. And so we come to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we pray for Christian people everywhere that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. We pray for the unity of the church and for bishops, clergy and all who lead in the church and are active in bringing others to faith. We pray that your church be filled with vision and hope this Advent time. We thank you for our church community here in Redditch and for all those working so tirelessly to build on the foundations already laid. We put our trust in you, Lord, to guide us through the remainder of this year as we begin to look forward to the new church year ahead and know that by your grace our church will grow and become stronger. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father God, we pray for a long-held desire to have peace among all nations. We pray that the world may be rid of violence and hatred to allow all people to grow in justice and harmony. We pray for world leaders that they may work together for the common good, not only in their own lands, but across borders. We remember those people caught up in the troubled areas of the Middle East and in Africa. 
We particularly pray for those people who are desperate to cross the channel to reach the UK and those struggling to cross other European borders. The issues faced are many and complex, sometimes due to conflict, sometimes suffering caused through natural disaster or tyrannical regimes operating in many countries, sometimes self-interest. We pray for hope, for the new enlightenment, where weak, ordinary and genuine beings are no longer exploited and taken advantage of by the strong and the aggressive, whose mantra is, is always, might is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our local community here in Redditch and for all people in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for parents, for families and all who are alone. We give thanks that we live in safety and freedom. We pray for those who help to keep us safe and for all who work hard to uphold the values of our society. We bless us in our coming and our going in our waking and our sleeping, and in our daily work. Make our love and good deeds a reflection of the freedom given to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we raise before you the sick, the lonely and distressed, and especially those without hope for the future. We pray for healing, wholeness and hope in their lives. And we think especially tonight of a little girl called Maria, praying, and um, we are praying for your healing, Lord, for her. Help us to bring life and love, joy and hope to those who live in despair. Let them not abandon hope. And we pray for those who are bereaved, having recently lost family or friends. May they be comforted and consoled in the warmth of your ever-giving love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And loving God, as we go into our Advent journey in faith, we ask you in hope to minister to our needs. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, as we forgive those who forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining me this evening. Richard will be back with you next week. And I'll be back with you next Friday. Until then, I pray you have a blessed week and that you can find time to come and have a look at the 29 beautifully decorated trees in St Stephen's. There will be services in person at all our churches on Sunday morning. And the service from St Stephen's will be live streamed on the Holy Trinity Reddit YouTube channel on Sunday morning at 9.30. Have a fun-filled weekend. And until next time, stay safe, be blessed, and be a blessing. God bless you. Good night.